Kyle, what an unbelievable afternoon. Two late goals, two added time goals to win to win the game for your lads. I mean, it was scrappy, it was difficult, it was a difficult pitch against a side that are scrapping, but we've turned it around and won. Unbelievable. Yeah, you, the wins, you know, we, we probably nicked it, probably didn't deserve it, if I'm going to be honest with you, but what that does show is a level of desire that, that they put in today and, and they kept going right until the you know extra time, right until the end. And um, yeah, we, we've been able to score two goals in extra time and shows our fitness and shows that, you know, we really wanted to, to come away with three points. A bit disappointed in the first half performance. Um, felt like we wanted to just turn up and it was just going to click and it was just going to happen, didn't really compete. Um, but, but, but they showed what they were made of and, and um, we pick up another three points and we keep the run, run going. Just on that first half performance, I know you know from speaking to you, I know you're a man of standards, and yeah. and and, and um, you know they weren't really at it in the first half. To be fair, were they, the lads? Yeah, there, there, there was a few choice words at half time, and that's not just from me; that's from the players as well. I think they're all disappointed in what they produced. Um, ironically, the first five minutes probably the best best bit of the football we played for a long time. We were getting into Bailey on the half turn. Um, he looked dangerous. We looked dangerous, and then yeah, you know we probably just took a foot off the pedal and stopped competing and winning second balls and just doing all those things away from him that you need to do. Um, and then, yeah, second half we come out a different side and look, you know, they had chances, we had chances again, but we, we ended up nicking it and, and the scenes at the end was um, was amazing and we keep the, we keep that run going and, and you know, we're happy with it, obviously. You mentioned on Tuesday night the importance of the squad and how important everybody yeah. was going to be. Uh, young Hayden's come on and taken his opportunity. He's in the right place at the right time, and he's he's really deserved that moment, hasn't he? He was fantastic, and I said that at the end. And I said this club is going to have to change in its mentality to think that we're we're just the first team in the reserves, and the 18s aren't part of it. We all have to be one. And and if you're playing for us and dropping down and getting minutes with the reserves, or you're coming in, you have to take that now. And we're a squad, and and the squad is what's won us that game today. Hayden, Lance, Connor coming on all did really really well and, and that's what we need we need competition so that we can progress and people don't feel comfortable having to play every week yeah and it really is a real squad game and it's, yeah. it's evident um just quickly as well on greg is there any news on him obviously i, I know a lot of people yeah. back home and a lot of people here will be wondering how, how he is he seemed to collide uh with with the with what we thought was kind of like cricket yeah. shutters behind the goal and it, it looked awful. So yeah. any news on him yeah, so, so far? It's a, it's a clean break and he needs surgery and he's, they're, they're hoping he has surgery straight away. Um, it's a huge loss. The guy's in... I, I, let, let's, yeah, let's not talk football. Firstly, I just hope that he's able to recover and he's able to work. That's that's first and foremost. And, and he's an amazing man and, and he's really touched my heart since I've come to the club. And that sounds a bit cliche, but the guy is brilliant and I just really hope for a speedy recovery. We all do. Um, yeah, it's de devastating. It's a really horrible break. Absolutely, we can all echo that at the club as well. Um, just back to the game as, yeah. now as well. Um, again, j just to win it and go five games on the bounce now, with five wins on the bounce. As manager, what, what do you put that down to in the main? I mean, there's been there's been some really impressive performances. We've had to dig it out a little bit today. So, so as an overall thing, to win five games in a row in any league is, is impressive. And what, what do you put that down to? Uh, I put it down to uh, the staff that I've got, uh, the work rate that they put in, Jamie, um, Andy, Josh, Dave, everyone that, that turns up to help me. Um, the lads themselves, they have to go out and perform. You guys, the committee, the fans, it, it comes down to the club as a whole. I don't think you can pinpoint one person. I certainly, you know, I, I put my work in, but just as much as everyone else. And we're one club. We move forwards, we enjoy the wins together, we enjoy the losses together. And look, OK, we're on a run. At some point, that's going to come to an end. Um, but we just got to enjoy ourselves. We've, we've got to enjoy those wins. I, I hear people and I hear, you know, higher league professionals go, let's not, let's, not get, take, you know, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. No, let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy the moment. Let's enjoy the fact that we're winning football games. This club hasn't been on five in a row, I would, would imagine, since the, the winning league in season. So let's, let's have some fun and see where it goes. And at the end of the game, I know you're usually very level-headed, but when that goal goes in, to, uh, you see the scenes on the bench there are unbelievable. And <laughs> yeah. you, talk, you talk about moments and enjoying it. And I guess when that sort of moment happens, you and your staff and your players have got to enjoy it. Well, no, I wasn't happy about the first goal we scored. I was still there shaking my head because I wasn't happy with how we were playing. Second goal in, I had a little bit of a fist bump. <laughs> and then the third one, it just, yeah, went a bit crazy. We all enjoyed it. Um, and it just is testament to all the work that we put in, all the work that everybody puts in. And like I said, let's enjoy ourselves until till that run comes to an end and we'll evaluate, we'll assess and we'll keep enjoying ourselves. Yeah, and Bailey's knocked it in at the end. When the ball's hanging up in the air after the cross, are you yourself kind of heading it in the net there on the sideline? Yeah, well, he actually cheated. <laughs> he actually went from centre forward to left wing because he thought he was <laughs> going to get a chance. So, testament to him for seeing that. Um, 
and he needed it. He needed that goal. You yeah. know, it, the, the lad has put in so much effort. You cannot you cannot criticise his work rate. Uh, his quality he wasn't quite on it today, but to score the winner, I'm buzzing for him, and, and he deserves it. Kyle, congratulations, Thank you. well done. Cheers, Josh.